Good morning children. Today we shall learn about equivalent ratios. Now this is Aman and he has six chocolates. And this is Anand, his friend, and he has nine chocolates. Can you find what is the ratio of Aman's chocolate to Anand's chocolate? Well, the ratio of Aman's chocolate to Anand's chocolate is 6 is to 9. Now let's see another scenario. In a class there are 12 girls and 18 boys. Again, what is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys in the class? The ratio of number of girls to the number of boys is equal to 12 is to 18. If we see the simplest form of both the ratios then 12 is to 18. It is equal to 12 by 18. Let us reduce it. If we divide both the numerator and denominator by 6 we get 2 by 3 as 6 twos are 12 and 6 threes are 18. So this ratio 12 is to 18 in the simplest form becomes 2 is to 3. So we can also say the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys is equal to 2 is to 3. Same way if we need to find the ratio of Aman's chocolate to Anand's chocolate which is 6 is to 9 in simplest form then it is written as 6 by 9 and this can be reduced by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 3. 3 2's are 6 and 3 3's are 9 so this gets reduced to 2 by 3. So we see the ratio of Aman's chocolate to Anand's chocolate is equal to 2 is to 3. Now we saw the ratio 12 is to 18 and 6 is to 9. And the lowest form of these ratio is same which is 2 is to 3. Such ratios are called equivalent ratios as they represent the same ratio in the simplest form. So 12 is to 18 and 6 is to 9 are called equivalent ratios. Now you might think how to get equivalent ratios? Well if we have 6 is to 9 to get an equivalent ratio, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator of the ratio by the same number and we get an equivalent ratio. Like here, we multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 2 by 2 and what do we get? 6 twos are 12 and 9 twos are 18. We got 12 by 18. So, 6 is to 9 and 12 is to 18 are equivalent ratio. Is there any other method? Yes, we can also find equivalent ratios using division. Let's see how. This is the ratio 12 is to 18 and we need to find its equivalent ratio. So what did we do? Here we divided both the numerator and the denominator of the ratio by 2. So what do we get? 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So we got an equivalent ratio of 12 is to 18 which is equal to 6 by 9. So we can say 12 is to 18 and 6 is to 9 are equivalent ratios. Understood? So remember, we can get equivalent ratios 1 by multiplying or second ways 
by dividing the ratio by the same number where ratio is represented in form of numerator and denominator of a fraction then both the numerator and the denominator should be multiplied or divided by the same number to get an equivalent ratio. Now let us see another example. This is a tiffin box and the length of tiffin box is 7.5 inches and the width of tiffin box is 5 inches. Now what is the ratio of the length to the width of the tiffin box? It is equal to 7.5 by 5. If you know about decimal then we can remove this decimal and add a zero in the denominator. So this gets changed to 75 by 50. So the ratio of length to the width of the tiffin box is equal to 75 by 50. Can we find its equivalent ratios? Yes we can. Let's do it. 75 is to 50. So we'll write it as 75 divided by 50 and this is another equivalent ratio which we can get by dividing by 5. So 5 ones are 5, 5 fives are 25. So we get 15 in the numerator. Again dividing the denominator also by 5 we get 5 tens are 50. So denominator becomes 10. This is another equivalent ratio. We can get more equivalent ratio as 3 by 2. How do we get this? We divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5. So 5 threes are 15, 5 twos are 10. Here this is another equivalent ratio. So we can say 15 is to 10 and 3 is to 2 are the equivalent ratios of 75 is to 50. Remember again we can get equivalent ratios first by multiplying or by dividing the ratio by the same number. By the ratio meaning when it is represent in form of fraction as numerator and denominator then we can multiply or divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same number and get an equivalent ratio. Understood? That's all for now. Bye-bye children.